Hi guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. Yes, yes you are. I am. Yes. Um, and uh, I just wanted to start out this episode with saying thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes and the notes and all the messages. It really just, like, I'm going to get all teary. It really just made my day and um, it made the whole weekend and it was just so beautiful and I felt so much love with everybody. Um, it was just very special and uh, I just wanted to give, you know, a big thank you for that because um, it was it was just amazing. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to Susan Shepperson. Yes, because... She's always giving super chats and uh, and is always at all of our premieres. And she sent me a birthday box right. um, that had uh, this huge box of paints in it. Um, it had like uh, just all this other stuff in it that was just great. Right. Um, and she sent us this cute painting right here, which is amazing. Um, so we're going to hang it up in the studio right. and, uh, but I just wanted to give just a big special shout out to you, Susan, for that. It just meant so much. Yeah. And, um, and we are actually going to be using the paints today yeah, in our pour. Absolutely. There are so many of you that are just like, you know, regular viewers and we appreciate you. Susan sends us the most generous super chats and we've reached out to Susan directly and said, please stop and come and join <laughs> us on the Patreon account, which would be cheaper for you and you're gonna get some special content. Um, but she, for, for her own reasons, just enjoys doing what she's doing. Yes. So we really, really appreciate the love and support. So thank you, Susan, for all that. So, as a thank you, we're going to use your paints. And yes. we're actually both going to create a piece using the Arteza pre-mixed pouring box that you sent us. Yes, exactly. What are you going to do? I am going to be doing a leaky cup. Okay, cool. Because I think that yeah. these are a fun consistency for a leaky cup. Yes. We're going to see how it works. I'm going to try a ribbon pour. Oh. Yeah, they might be a little thin for a ribbon pour, but I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. I love your ribbon pours. Thank you. They're so beautiful. Yeah, I'm really enjoying them currently. So, and there's something that I want to try in my head to try and create like an ombre effect. Yes. But yes. Let's use them and see what happens. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, I'm so excited about this episode, honestly. And uh, I can't wait to get started. So, let's, let's get into the studio. Let's get at the table. We'll right. see you there. So here is the Arteza Flow Acrylics that Susan Shepperson uh -huh. uh, th sent for me for my birthday, which I'm in love with. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday again. <laughs> um, you say happy birthday to yourself, buddy. I did. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm really excited about using these because I don't think we've ever used these. We used them once before on a set of coasters just before Christmas. Oh, Do you remember? that's right. Yeah, that's and right. Yeah, we, we were, but we were using them on tiny, tiny, tiny canvases. Tiny co we've never yeah. used them on a canvas before. That's right. We've never used them on a canvas before. So, Susan, you got us to do something that we've really never done before on a, a canvas. Right. Um, so, why don't I go ahead and introduce my colors here. Please, I should take that box off you, sir. Yeah. So, I'm kind of in love with this, so I had to use this. This is the Metallic Wine Red. Mm -hmm. I have Phalo Green. I have Ultramarine Blue. I have Sea Green, mm -hmm. which I'm in love with. And I have Gold. Lovely. Lovely. And what is your canvas and what's it sitting on? Um, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, it is sitting on a lazy Deborah. Woo, woo, because what yes. are you going to do today? I'm going to spin it out, but I'm going to be using my leaky cup. Excellent. Yes. I'm going to use my leaky cup and I'm going to spin it out actually. I'm really glad you chose to do the leaky cup because I think these are the right consistency for yes, the leaky cup. Yes, for the leaky cup. Yeah, it's a really mm -hmm. like, it's a really thin consistency. Yes, pour. absolutely. And absolutely. these are ready to pour color. So you literally they just are. flip the cap and off you go. Yep, they really are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas okay. and uh, we'll take you in, uh, we'll take you in for a close up. We're not that far along yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the only thing that isn't the pouring paint and this is just left over from yeah. acrylic Ac artist loft white. Yes. Couldn't speak then either. 
All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, flooding my canvas. All right, guys, so I've got my canvas flooded. Now I'm going to start my leaky cup. I think that is, that's pretty much dead center, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think I did that pretty good. Okay, I've popped the lid on all your colors for you. Awesome, okay. Now what color to start out with? That is the question. I think I'm gonna start out with this. I think I'm gonna start out with the blue. Okay. Okay guys, so I got my paint that has come out. Um, I think the paint was a little thin for this consistency, but we're gonna see what happens whenever I spin it out. Go ahead and get this. Paper towel? Yeah. There you go. Would you like some paper towel to do the dab in the middle? Got some. You got some? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, perfect. perfect. Well done, sir. All right, guys. So now I'm going to spin this out and see what happens. This came out really, really great. You can still see all the colors. Yeah, Even absolutely. The consistency of the paint is particularly thin. It didn't muddy. No, it didn't. Right? Yeah. Do you agree? I agree. Um, and, I, and I think you can still 100% see the gold, the greens, the blue, the, the Oh reds yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a really interesting consistency paint. It must um, be really highly pigmented. See, I'm just so tempted to, to tilt this a little bit more and then spin it. Well, you do what you want. 
I'm gonna try to tilt this just yeah. a little bit. But I like the fact that not all of them actually have gone over the edge personally. Yeah, I think I won't be able to, I think I messed it up if I do it. Okay. I'm gonna keep it just like this. I think so too, because I think it's really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I was very skeptical. I was too. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> say, when I, when I looked at it after it came through the cup, I was like, hmm. But I, but I think it actually has kept all of its colors on there really well. Thank you. Do you like it? I do like it. I do like it a lot, actually. I, I think it like it has these great highlights to it. I know it's very dark in comparison to a lot of your other leaky cups. Yeah. But, but there's not a lot of the 24 karat gold in here, which normally makes it pop and bling. Yeah. But no, I really like it. Well, thank you. Then I will go ahead and I will get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Sincerely. All right, Susan, thank you so much for this box for Jeremy's birthday. You're giving me the chance to have a play around with colors that I haven't normally played around with before. So I'm excited to see what happens. Um, I'm gonna use a canvas that has been once poured on before and then scraped. And I'm gonna do a ribbon pour um, with these colors because I think they'll work really well in a ribbon pour. And excuse the noise because that's actually the rain here in Texas. So if it's not 120 degrees, it's raining, and today it's raining. Uh, but we've still got the garage door open because it's nice and warm. So I've got a nine, inch, nine ounce cup here, and in this cup, I am going to be layering Mars Black, Bronze, Pastel Yellow. We've got Phalo Blue and Coral, and then maybe a little bit of silver in here as well. So um, I'm going to rib and pour. So I'm going to try as much as I can to layer these colors on top of each other. And I'm not going to pour them down the side of the cup. I'm actually just going to try and pour them on top of each other and see what happens. So the bottom of the cup, I'm going to put some phalo blue. And on top of that, I've got this really wonderful bronze. So well, let's just see if these layer. Here they are. Okay. On top of the bronze, I'm going to put in some black. Now you can see kind of the consistency of these paints. It's definitely a thin, thin consistency. Yeah. On top of the black, I'm going to put coral. That's pretty. I really like this coral color. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is a beautiful color. On top of the coral, I'm going to put some silver. Just a little bit of silver, actually. And then I'm going to go in with the pastel yellow. That rain smells so nice. I know, it smells good out there, right? And then I'm going to finish off with a little bit of the phalo. All right. Let's see what happens in a ribbon pour. Now I'm not going to go straight. I'm going to go diagonal as much as I can on this one because I've got a fairly healthy cut. So let's pour this one onto the canvas and see what happens. I am soaked 
but I don't mind the cold. I have walked this street a thousand times or more, and I hope that I still do when I'm born. Wow, I'm really interested to see what happens now as I tilt this bad boy out. So it is ribbon pour tilting time. Let's <laughs> reveal the lines that we've got here and see what happens. Now I'm going to tilt this one in the same way I poured it. Tilting time. I'm standing in the hallway as I've done Well, there we have it folks oh my goodness I actually really really love this one um, what I love is this gradient that I've got from kind of blue to bronze and blue with that beautiful yellow which was the pastel yellow line down the center um, yeah I really love this a lot actually it's a really successful ribbon pour I believe um, and um, the colors are staying really true on this. So I'm going to grab my torch, I'm gonna to torch this one off real quick, and I'm gonna get my edges with my popsicle stick just to make sure that everything is nice and clean, and then we'll take you guys in for a close-up. Um, thank you again, Susan, for this wonderful box of delights. I think for a ribbon pour, I would say that those paint consistencies are a success. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I really, 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 truly do enjoy this one. So thank you so very much. Um, let me torch this one off and then we'll take you guys in for a close up. Thank you everyone. So, there you have it. There you have it, <laughs> What did you think, Jeremy? You know what? I actually, I liked the paints. Right. But I think they're more of a Dutch pour consistency than, than they were like for a leaky cup or for the ribbon pour. I don't know, what did you think about, the, about it for the ribbon pour? For the ribbon pour, it worked. Normally I yeah. do a ribbon pour with far thicker paints. So actually it showed me that my paints don't necessarily have to be quite so thick for the ribbon yeah. pour. I do them thick because I really like to layer the cup a certain way, but yeah. it's, it still worked. It still worked for yeah, mine too. I think so, yeah, but I do know what you mean. I think they were just a little, little too loose for yeah. you. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what you would use those, but I think they would really mix 
if you tried to do a dirty pour with a, a, a straight mm. dirty pour with those. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they would hold up even for ring pours. Hmm. I mm. don't know. There's definitely consistencies that it would work for. Yes. Um, and these paintings did, did, did work. Well, let's show the paintings. Let's show do the it. pieces. All right. So this was my leaky cup. And the colors came out really great. I mean, there's the gold in here that really like highlights. I love the blues and that, that red that's in here. Um, I thought it came out really, really well. Uh, I really liked it. So, I there mean. A, there was a part, a point at the very beginning before you spun it out where you were like, this is not gonna work. Yeah, I, I really thought it wasn't gonna work at yeah. first. I really did. I was very like, um, I was very, concerned about it at first, right. but it did, it worked. Um, I still like, you know, in the future going forward, I still like my paints to be a little, a little bit thicker. thicker. Yeah, and for that. And we could have added maybe gloss medium to these, but the whole point of them being ready mixed is that yeah. you don't have to add anything to exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. This was my ribbon pour. Now it is a little wet still, but I really, really enjoyed this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really pretty. Um, I layered my phalo blue top and bottom intentionally because I kind of wanted to, to gradiate through the colors and it's definitely something I'm going to play with a little bit more but I really love how I got all of this copper and blue on one side the light blues on the other and then this Naples yellow this really soft yellow down the middle yeah I really enjoyed this I thought these were really beautiful colors actually yeah I, I thought it really came out very well I might not necessarily have enjoyed the thickness I really liked the colors that we got oh yeah one. absolutely it's yeah. beautiful so thank you again Susan yes. for giving us the chance to play around with these paints yes really 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 awesome I know, this episode was so much fun. Yeah, I liked it. So I liked it a lot. I really yeah. liked how mine came out and I'm definitely gonna resin that piece. So thank you again for all of the wonderful birthday messages and all right. the all the notes and everything that we got for the birthday gifts that I got. Right. Um, thank you so much. Um, the birthday wish you did was just so special. Awesome. It really, really was. Really it, it made it made my whole birthday. I'm glad that you had so. a great time. Thank you for everyone for helping me make it quite so special. So thank you. And thank you. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and just close this out. Do it. Yes. So thank you again for being here with us on this premiere. And we will see you on Friday. Mm -hmm. For another yes. premiere. We'll see you then. All right, guys. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank, spank. <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles, Yay. aka Laurie Finzer. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.